What's up guys, it's Stiffleg. So, um, at the time of recording this video, we're almost at 300 subs. So make sure you guys like and subscribe. And yeah, let's get into the video. So, um, I was sitting thinking um, after my workout and I thought about how often do I actually go 100%. And I don't mean like giving my best effort. I mean, giving as much as my body can physically do. There's a difference between those two. So I'm gonna talk about that. So. Question is, how often should you go 100% in the gym? Um, so, weightlifting is a little bit unique in that I think it's one of the few sports that you very rarely go 100%, especially um, as you will see, you get more advanced. Um, most sports, I think in practices and everything, you are expected to you know, go 110%, and uh, that's what we're wanting every time. But, uh, you know, with this stuff, it's a little bit different as far as how close we get to actually our body failing us. So, uh, whenever we first start working out, we're beginning and everything else, we're learning how to move weights and everything, we're so weak that we can't really hurt ourselves. Uh, and what do I mean by that? Um, if you're just starting out and you are bench pressing and you have the 45 pound bar and you fail and it's stuck on your chest, no matter how weak you are and like you you can't get it out from underneath it. It's still a 45 pound bar. So, you can afford to try harder as a beginner. Um, that 45 pound bar is not gonna break your ribs if you can't get it up. You know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Um, in comparison to, you know, an advanced lifter, you know, 500 pound bench press, if they just drop it on the rib cage, you know, it's, it could break something. And it probably will break something. Um, so realistically, um, whenever you're a beginner, you're going to be trying, um, absolutely hundred percent, um, a lot, probably multiple times a week, realistically, um, especially if you're in strength training. Um, I know whenever I was starting out doing that, you know, a three times five, um, squats and five pounds every time I went to the gym, um, I was constantly sending new PRs by doing that. I was constantly, you know, going a hundred percent. Um, and for beginners, that works great. Um, you're putting on a lot of muscle, you're getting, you know, PRs, everything's great, but eventually you reach a point where you no longer can do that. Um, so eventually we get a point where we see here, which is called intermediate, which is somewhere in between beginning and advanced. Um, and that's when you can no longer just walk to the gym, give 100%, 100% every single time and continue to see growth. Sometimes we gotta dial that back, push it forward and manipulate things a little bit. Um, so once you're in this area here, you have to kind of pick and choose. Um, we don't want to start out training, um, going immediately hundred percent. And then, you know, by the second week of our, you know, workouts, our body is already done and destroyed and we got to already restart. We don't want that. We want, you know, three weeks of progressing and everything. And then maybe I can shut it down or four weeks and then we got to shut it down and restart. That way we can continue to see some growth. Um, so, like for me, for example here, I would probably put myself somewhere in this area. Um, for me, I can be honest with myself and say I truly only give 100% on lift. Um, honestly, once every four weeks, um, I max out once every four weeks. And whenever I say 100%, I don't mean I'm going in there focused, you know, dedicated to like working out and everything. I mean like I will pass out before I fail a rep. That's what I mean. Um, a real like um, absolute failure. Like if I'm underneath a bench for a bar, like someone's going to pull it off me. Like that's what I mean. Um, so I really only do that about once every three to four weeks. Um, and that's pretty normal um, for me. I've been doing that for a long time. And that's why I've seen a lot of growth. I don't get, um, you know, bru bruised up and everything from, you know, maxing out a ton. Now, eventually, uh, you might get down here to this advanced area here where you're going to do this even less. I'm talking maybe, you know, you're only giving a absolute 100%, you know, less than 10 times an entire year. So, obviously, these things can change as you progress um, and as you're like coming back into things or going out of working out, that can all change things. It also can change on, you know, who you are as an individual. Um, 
someone that's, you know, 5'3 and 140 pounds is going to be able to recover from going 100% much easier than someone that's, you know, my size at like 235-ish. So that's also a big difference here. But it's something for you to be aware of because also this is going to help drive growth and it's also going to help us prevent getting injured. Um, obviously, whenever you do go 100%, there is that risk that you could get hurt. Uh, I've, you know, definitely been very lucky with it, but some people, um, once they get over that 95%, they get really, um, the chance of them getting hurt is much higher. So that's just, you know, genetically on them though, to be fair. But with that being said, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe for more content. And yeah, have a great rest of your day.